And uh, we have a clear path to the 4680 being, we think, probably the most competitive cell uh, from, its, from a manufacturing efficiency standpoint. Witnessing the improvements in cost and the new production process for Tesla's 4,680 battery cells, which involve eliminating traditional tabs and optimizing electron flow, the success is clearly reflected in the output the company achieved in just 101 days, reaching 50 million units. This massive number of battery cells promises to be a turning point for the entire future of electric vehicles. So, how did the change in the 4,680 cell manufacturing process create a breakthrough? Let's find out about this in today's episode. Tesla has announced that it has produced 100 million 4,680 battery cells across all its factories. This update comes just over three months after the company reported a total of 50 million 4,680 battery cells produced. Previously, Tesla used the 4,680 cells in the Model Y but encountered several issues, particularly with charging performance degradation and lower energy density. It seems Tesla has promptly recognized this, as the company set a groundbreaking requirement to redesign the battery cell based on a dry electrode process, which is said to be cheaper for large-scale production, providing faster manufacturing, enhanced safety performance, and an energy density increase of 15 to 18 percent. It is considered the holy grail for Tesla and the Cybertruck. From the outset, one of the biggest improvements has been the weight of the 4,680 casing, which is reduced from 70 grams for the Gen 1 battery to just 49 grams. Tesla essentially optimized the casing, making it thinner and reducing internal complexity. This was achieved by welding the electrodes directly to the battery cover without a tab. This weight reduction is significant at the battery pack level. The Cybertruck has 1,344 cells, which results in a total weight reduction of 62.1 pounds for the battery module. However, instead of leaving that space empty, Tesla filled it with more battery materials, aiming to increase the overall energy density of the battery pack by 10%. Even if Tesla hadn't filled the battery module's empty space, the overall weight reduction would still contribute to slightly improving the electric vehicle's range. The improvement in energy density has also been confirmed by Sandy Monroe during his teardown of the Cybertruck, revealing that the new version of the 4680 has an energy density increase of about 12%, which is a quite significant enhancement. The higher energy density and improved performance of the 4680 battery cells make them a game changer for electric vehicles. With superior thermal management, these cells promise better performance and longevity, which are critical factors for the success of the Cyber Truck and other future Tesla models. Tesla decided against using traditional tabs to address these issues. Instead, they designed electrodes that connect directly to the battery terminals through multiple small contact points at the edges of the electrodes. This innovation allows the batteries to operate at more stable temperatures, thereby extending their lifespan. At the same time, the battery manufacturing process has become simpler, which helps accelerate production on the assembly line and reduce costs as the company achieves massive production volumes. Notably, the breakthrough of producing over 50 million battery cells in just 101 days means that Tesla's milestone of 100 million 4,680 cells signifies they produced 58 million cells in Q3 2024, enough to manufacture 43,000 Cybertrucks. If this trajectory continues, Tesla is poised to produce over 90 million battery cells in the last three months of 2024. Tesla predicts that the tabless design could reduce the production cost per kilowatt hour of the 4,680 battery to below $70, compared to over $100 per kilowatt hour for the first generation batteries. Moreover, with a less complex manufacturing process, the startup time for producing new batteries is faster allowing Tesla to be more flexible in responding to market demand. If you are enjoying this content so far, make sure that you liked the video and join us for daily episodes by subscribing to Techno Creator channel. How does the new design of 4,680 cells impact the production line? The tabless design of the 4,680 cell brings significant benefits to the battery manufacturing process. 
Unlike conventional cells with a small tab on top, the elimination of the tab simplifies the assembly steps. This means that the production line doesn't need to stop to add tabs, enhancing continuity in the process. As a result, the likelihood of production errors is minimized since an unnecessary step has been removed. Furthermore, this design facilitates quick startup of the production line, helping to accelerate supply and respond more effectively to market demand. Tesla estimates that eliminating the tabs could increase production speed by about 20% due to the reduction in complexity of this step. The new production process for the 4680 cell offers several notable advantages, including a reduction in total costs of up to 50% compared to the current wet process. Beyond economic benefits, this dry process is also more environmentally friendly, allowing for faster and more efficient cell production. In fact, each Cybertruck is equipped with 1,344 cells of 4,680, making a strong supply of these batteries crucial for accelerating production. Based on the current production rate, Tesla has the capacity to produce approximately 33,514 Cybertrucks per quarter, or 134,000 units by 2025, with the potential to double or triple that number by 2026. What does the 4,680 battery cell mean for the entire EV market? The demand for 4,680 batteries is expected to surge, with estimates suggesting it will reach around 72 gigawatt hours by 2025 and approximately 650 gigawatt hours by 2030. Tesla is poised to lead this trend, with projected output of about 80 gigawatt hours in 2025. This highlights Tesla's role in shaping the future of battery technology. Furthermore, Tesla emphasizes that while the company collaborates with suppliers, it does not fully rely on external battery sources. This strategic independence allows Tesla to maintain its leadership position in the battery and electric vehicle industries. While CATL, Tesla's largest battery supplier, focuses on developing cheaper batteries with lower energy density, such as LFP batteries, and is concentrating on fast charging technology, it has yet to keep pace with the performance improvements seen in Tesla's innovations. The 4,680 battery promises superior energy density, performance, and cost efficiency compared to traditional 2,170 batteries. As a result, major companies in the battery industry are racing to adopt and scale up the production of 4,680 cells in order to secure a leading position in the market. The competitive landscape for the 4680 battery is characterized by strong efforts from LG Energy, Samsung, and Panasonic to lead the market. While these companies are making significant advancements, they face considerable challenges in scaling production and overcoming technological and cost barriers. Scaling up 4680 production involves technological hurdles and the need for substantial investment in manufacturing infrastructure. The industry is still working to address issues related to high production costs, yield rates, and the complexity of integrating new technologies into existing production lines. Additionally, achieving consistent quality and performance at scale remains a significant challenge for all manufacturers. What do you think about the 4680 Gen 2 what future Tesla EV could this groundbreaking battery technology be used in? Please share your opinion below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.